I think the Topeka community has um, pretty much made Perupskis in a lot of way. It's kind of a gathering place. It's kind of a timeless place. But why it's remained that way is a big question. I ask a person, why do you like to come down here? Oh, because it's good. You know, it's nice. I like it. Well, why? And they're just kind of like, oh, it just kind of feels like home. Well, why does it feel like home? It just does. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what it, it just does means. The reason why I made the documentary is kind of I started thinking about what, what's lasting, you know? Not only did my grandparents have fantastic stories, like the place in there, Perupski's, the stories it must have. The butcher's block is the same exact one that's been there forever, was washed down the street in the flood, the same one's there. And the stories that people must have there from the community. And they've been going there. Some people have been going there their whole entire lives. It's a fantastic thing, and I think that's important. Not only is it important to Topeka's history, but it's important to national history. Like, what was appealing about this place? Why did it survive? Why do people continue to come here? Because a lot of people, when this documentary is finished, they'll watch it and go, that reminds me of that place that used to be down the street, or that we used to go with, uh, with their dad or their mom and eat, or with their grandpa and eat. But I think that it's an important story because it's so appealing and people can't really explain why. This documentary, we set up a fund um, at the Topeka Community Foundation. To make this film happen, we're asking people to make tax-deductible donations to the production of this film. Me, personally, I'm basically cold-calling people saying, Hi, my name is Matt Perupski, and I was wondering if uh, you had a second to talk to me about a not-for-profit community project that I'm working on in the form of a documentary film about C.W. Perupski's Deli and Tavern and 60-plus years involvement in the Topeka community. I mean, people just need to know how important this is to the community. We're working with Justin Marable has done artwork for it. Uh, Dan and Sam Billen have done an original soundtrack for it. The people at Gizmo, Jeff Carson and David Kitchener and everybody has really helped out with this. And it's kind of, not only is it showcasing something important about Topeka and Kansas, it's also showcasing what great artists we have here and what potential there is here and the great things that we are actually doing. <laughs>